I saw um, a UFO was spotted, and they sent, my, they sent me pictures, and my little brother's in College Park, so I got a little worried. A UFO on the Beltway, the suspicions, and the theories after an unidentified object is spotted being rolled around town. Washington, a buzz today when people thought they saw a UFO. The huge silver object was pulled into the region on a flatbed truck late last night, but it was not a flying saucer. It was a drone. Fox News' John Henrahan joins us now with uh, this out of the world story. John? Well, it was, Laura, it was a UFO, all right, an unidentified flatbed object. Flatbed because it was on the back of a flatbed truck. Somebody snapped some photos of the curious object, and the Twitterverse briefly went nuts. Unlike these old UFO photos of mysterious objects in the sky, the UFO that cruised down I-270 and then across the top of the Capitol Beltway Wednesday night came on the back of a flatbed truck. It looked something like a flying saucer, so people snapped camera phone photos, and the Twitterverse exploded with speculation. Somebody concerned for a relative in College Park called police in Prince George's County. What does the picture look like? Um, what does the picture look like? A UFO? I mean, I don't really know. I, never, I don't see too many UFOs in the regular places. I mean, does it's it like, look like a, like a Martian type of thing, or does it look like yeah. a spaceship? Yeah, if, if it's possible that you can get on Twitter right now, it's trending UFOs. No, I can't trending. get on Twitter. No, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I just got a little worried. Well, it turns out the mysterious object on the truck cruising around D.C. was a flying object, an experimental unmanned aircraft called the X-47B. We spoke by phone with Brooks McKinney from Northrop Grumman, who confirmed the drone is somewhat saucer-like in design because it was designed to fly without a tail. A shape that minimizes its reflection of potential radar, enemy radar signals. The spacey-looking thing on the truck Wednesday night is one of two X-47Bs that have now been delivered to Patuxent Naval Air Station. The drones are being tested there before further testing aboard Navy aircraft carriers. So why not fly the drones to Maryland from Edwards Air Force Base in California? Northrop Grumman says the FAA is not yet keen on transcontinental unmanned flights. Besides, the manufacturer says, trucking the spacey aircraft was actually cheaper. Well, fl flying them in might get people talking as well. So, John, I'm curious what uh, what these particular aircraft are designed for. Uh, Northrop Grumman says dual use. You can use them for surveillance of the enemy, or they can be weaponized. They can deliver uh, bombs or, or shooting. It's, it's like a jet without a pilot that goes on and on and on, because back on the aircraft carrier, you just, different guys use the joystick. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Peaking lots of interest last night there. Very good. Thanks, John Henrahan. Thank you. The Fox 5 Weather App. Look 10 days ahead or hour by hour. View today's video forecast and radar that can pinpoint your neighborhood free at your app store or Android market.